Welcome, welcome to another Two-Headed Hero Fix video. My name is Boss Sauce, and today we're gonna show you how to fix up Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is mostly for the Steam version. The GOG version is highly functional, so if you don't own the game yet, just buy that version and you're set. If you do, however, own the game on Steam, you'll notice that you'll run into a little problem. So you'll go ahead and boot it up. You'll get this long loading screen. And then before you know it, you'll be unceremoniously dumped back to the desktop with an error message. Unable to allocate 200 megabytes. That is the error message you'll probably get if you just try to raw dog this and run it straight from purchase, which is really frustrating and probably the source for a lot of refunds. Now, to get around this, the simplest way is to go ahead and install the unofficial Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines patch. So you'll want to navigate to this mod DB page right here to get the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines unofficial patch. This has been created by one guy, pretty much, uh, user named West5, in conjunction with some other creators in the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines fan community. And it is really, really good. So this not only fixes the game-breaking bugs, such as the starting bug that just causes the game to not work on Steam. There's also a game-breaking bug near the end of the game that makes it incompletable. This fixes that as well. There's also a lot of tweaks, a lot of unused content, new quests, levels, weapons, items, characters, blah blah blah. I won't get into everything here, but it's totally worth installing for some key features, including widescreen and higher resolutions. So we're going to go ahead and get that going right now. You want to start by downloading this. You might have to make an account for ModDB if you don't have one yet. I think it's optional, but basically you go ahead and grab it here. This is the best, most reliable source to get the latest version. So go ahead and download this. Once you do so, go ahead and open up the installer. And right here we have it by Jeanette's little smoochy face. Mwah. Okay, open her up. And then you'll get this setup prompt here. Welcome to the setup wizard. Go ahead and hit next. Yup, this is all the good stuff. It's an unofficial patch. Next. And then you'll want to locate your Bloodlines folder for Steam. If you don't have it installed to the standard folder here, you'll want to make sure you redirect to the proper one. The easiest way to do that is to go into the Steam client itself, right click here, go to properties, and then go to local files, hit browse, it'll pop up a folder with the path, take this control C to copy it, or just copy it and then you'll want to go back to the installer and paste over that and put it in the game path hit next all right so it will install the basic fix patch and the patch readme by default it will install these no matter what you do but there's a restoration patch and there's an extras patch. This restoration patch includes a bunch of tweaks to gameplay and stuff like that that make it a little nicer to play. It also includes a pretty cool character generation component that I actually really enjoy that gives your character background options. I like that a lot. Um, there's an extra such as walkthroughs, shaders, SDK, and more. The walkthroughs are a text file basically. But there's also shaders and so on, and modding tools if you're into that stuff. Shaders will make the game look a little nicer if you want to mess around with those. Those aren't covered in this video, so we're going to go ahead and hit next. And you'll see that the game is ready to install to this path. Make sure that's the right path again, and hit install. You'll see it working. Pushing up that bar. When it's done, the next step is go ahead and start bloodlines from the shortcut the patch adds. That'll jump you right up in there. Boom. If you want to add it to Steam and launch it from Steam, you can use this command line option. But anyway, we're going to jump in. We're going to get in here and I'll show you what's up. So next, and we don't want to review a readme right now, but you can if you want to. We're going to run Bloodlines with the unofficial patch. You'll also notice that on your desktop, there will be, boom, a shortcut created as well so you can run it later and jump right in there without having to open steam or gog so we're going to go ahead and click finish you'll notice immediately that the game 
is in widescreen. Hit options. Look at the video options. It defaults to your monitor. I'm using a 2K monitor. You can see right here, it's all good to go. Can mess around with the shadows and geometry and all this crap if you want at your discretion. So you'll see that the game now works and looks pretty great. There's improved textures and everything. Look at Jack's laughing head. Yeah, he insults you right out the gate. So anyway, that's it for the video. Enjoy playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you like what we do here, maybe hit that subscribe button. You'll see more fixes. You'll see more retro game reviews and indie game reviews on Two-Headed Hero. And don't forget to check out our review for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines if you want to take a look at what we thought of it. Have a great one, and we'll see you on the next Two-Headed Hero.